Could you circle it? Okay. So when we look at this word home, that's 258, 59, 260, 261. Does that make sense? So you need to count out where it is in the words. Okay. And so I'm guessing like these are the five words, but like that word home, notice, um, so 47, 48, 49, 50, or no, that's 20. Oh, that's 47 there, so only count backwards. 46, 45, 44, 43, that's word 42 in the song. Does that make sense? So guys, we want to identify what word in the song it is, not just one, two, three, four, five, and then find that average. So 250, that'd be 258, U is 230, yeah. Yeah, you're identifying which word it is in the song. After you do that, find the average length of those, of those words. Correct. Find the average length of those words after you identify those details. Okay, so once you've done that, mark it up on the board. Right? And so guys, once you get that average, mark it on the board. Yes, ma'am. Now, we'll point out, like, it'd be helpful if you wrote 23 letters divided by 5 words, because then you would know it's 4.6 letters per word. But in the context with it, it can be very, very helpful. Yes, sir? Any five. They don't have to be next to each other. Janiah? What are you trying to do? So, oh, you need to get to a calculator. So you can either use Scratchpad or you can use Documents. I would do Scratchpad and do Calculate. Oh, is that what you tried to do here? No. Uh, somebody else. So, I mean, you would literally just type in 23 divided by 5. So, remember we talked about the fact that to get the decimal, you need to hit control. Say again. I mean, I, I can't tell you if you did it right or wrong. You picked five words. Oh, and you identify which one. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Where do you and then the you added the number of letters for each word. I just kept the big To put it up on the board. All right, guys, this is the last thing that we're doing. I'm going to wrap up class once y'all get your dots on the board. So let's get moving. Let's get those averages up there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Control. I got 20. <laughs> oh, that was crossing out. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. You got to go real quick, go quickly, because we're about to do the wrap up of this. Okay. Now we'll say like we need to work on asking our group back or listening in. We're I'm about to wrap up. Let me work out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it Trey? No. What's the name again? Trey Vaughn. Okay, so uh, let's talk about a couple of small details. If you haven't gotten your average up here, make sure you do that before or during enrichment. Um, but one thing I have noticed that I think will make y'all's job easier is I saw a lot of people writing out 23 divided by 5. That's just an example. And they weren't 100% sure if they did this right. But when we say 23, 23 what? Letters. 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 Divided by five what? Words. 
when you put that context to it, it helps you actually check and make sure you did it right. Always put context if it's there, right? So notice that comes out to be 4.6 letters per word, right? Um, so put that context with it. So tomorrow, we're going to look more heavily at, hey, is this accurate to the entire population? Now, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I only have 16 up here, so I need quite a few more during enrichment. Get your averages up there. But we're going to wrap up here today so we can get to enrichment. Um, if you have not done your, gotten your parents to do the syllabus or you have not done your what is math, make sure you get that done. Um, other than that, we don't have time for the bell or the exit slip. Just be prepared tomorrow. We're going to wrap up. What does it mean to randomly sample and why is random sampling better than just choosing like we did? All right, it's time for enrichment. When Control. And then enter. Oh, you got a fast You got a fast